not only astronomers, but also ordinary people experience incredible delight from all the novelties that the night sky broadcasts to us. Some consider it the highest romantic display of affection to give your beloved a star. But how should we react to such an unusual gift? To begin with, let's be a little more specific. What if it's Betelgeuse? If, during a date, a guy decided to demonstrate his knowledge of astronomy, sorry for the spoiler, but most likely he'll point his finger at the brightest star and call it the Big Dipper. But one of the most famous and also one of the few stars which you can see so clearly with the naked eye, this is Betelgeuse. It's a red supergiant located in the right shoulder of the constellation Orion. Here, even the most skeptical girl will think, well, that's what I would like. Perhaps soon your interest will disappear, though, because recently, researchers discovered that the star is beginning to fade. It seems to be nothing super interesting, but a star usually fades before it has a huge explosion. All astronomers are now in anticipation of the most colossal cosmic event throughout its history. Humanity has never recorded the explosion of a star, at least not with telescopes. As early as the first century BC, Sima Qian and his treatise on celestial apparitions mentioned Betelgeuse. But at that time, all the researchers observed was a yellow glow, and by the second century AD, based on the research of Ptolemy, it had turned red. Betelgeuse reincarnated not only in color, but also in speed, which has increased significantly to an incredible pace, about 5 kilometers per second, which is four times faster than that of our sun. The reason for this may be that Betelgeuse devoured its closest stellar neighbor, which was significantly inferior to it in size. In the world of space, Betelgeuse is clearly not a herbivore. And this planetary predator never ceases to amaze to this day. Just recently, scientists recorded the star's new trick. Betelgeuse started winking at us. Then the star began to hide from our eyes behind some dust. And this can mean only one thing. There's very little time left before the death of the Titan. Stars die in two ways. Either they fade away or they generate a powerful explosion, and Betelgeuse is preparing for the latter. It can happen at any time, but on the astronomical scale, Betelgeuse will explode in the next 100,000 years, or in 2022. The explosion of a star so close will be a supernova phenomenon for our planet, and most importantly for science. The last time something like this was observed by our ancestors was in 1604. This explosion and formation of Kepler's supernova happened at a distance of 13,000 light years from Earth, which is 20 times the distance to Betelgeuse. Given the short lifespan of a person and the large-scale lifespan of a star, it can be said without exaggeration that you can catch such an event as the explosion of Betelgeuse once in never. When else will you be able to watch such a large-scale explosion without fear of death? After all, scientists suggest that Betelgeuse is too far away to have a significant impact on the Earth. But remember how astronomers miscalculated in forecasting a solar storm? It was supposed to destroy the Earth in 2012, but in the end we survived. But what if this time everything is the other way around? That assuming a happy ending, scientists haven't carefully considered the terrible scenario of events. Scientists have apparently forgotten that in the past, due to the explosion of stars, the Earth's temperature rose significantly. Add a pinch of global warming here and it turns out we throw the planet into a hot frying pan. Also, 
the explosion will damage the ozone layer, which protects the Earth from harmful solar and cosmic radiation. Under one of the scenarios, Betelgeuse will emit two powerful beams called relativistic jets. They'll fly out in opposite directions at almost the speed of light, and one of them may well be aimed at Earth. Now, that romantic date on which you expected to surprise the girl with the beautiful glow of the stars could turn into a front-row ticket to watch the apocalypse. There's also a second scenario for the thriller. There have already been cases when stars behaved far from what scientists expected. IPTF-14HIS did not go out just after exploding and continued to shine brightly for 600 days and keeps exploding over and over again. And this is far from a wink, it's rising from the dead. Therefore, such stars are called zombies. Even if you accomplished a great mission in The Walking Dead, you won't be a match for a space zombie like Betelgeuse. The zombie star will amaze us with its radiation attacks over and over again. And this will already be the final death of the Earth, since zombie planets, alas, don't exist. Most estimates still tend to say that the material ejected from the star by the explosion will need about 6 million years to reach our solar system. By that time, the explosion debris will be scattered and the speed of the shockwave will have decreased to 13 kilometers per second and will be easily extinguished by the force of our solar wind. But what kind of show has Betelgeuse prepared for us next year? Here's a hypothetical schedule for Betelgeuse's space performance from Riddle. 2022 January Humanity is waiting for the promised performance even more than New Year's fireworks. But the star is still poorly visible due to its dust envelope. February Valentine's Day has yet to see as many disappointments as this year. After all, no one has ever kissed under something so romantic as the explosion of a star. March Scientists are secretly devising a plan to accelerate the explosion of the star. Purely hypothetically, you can launch an oxygen and carbon-filled rocket at a star. Their synthesis would provide a giant burst of energy, and a star in space will be blown up. Just like the Mythbusters blew up a Ford in the middle of the desert. Desert. For now, scientists' ideas remain simply a scenario for science fiction, and some scientists have already started to give up. But then, they saw that the flux of neutrinos emitted by Betelgeuse had suddenly increased, and this means that there's just a week left before the explosion. First week of May. All the media are trumpeting about the upcoming event. Couples are booking seats in open-air cinemas, and one thing's for sure, nobody's gonna be watching the film. Day X, morning. The star begins to pulsate violently, along with the hearts of all observers. Now, a date with a view of the Betelgeuse explosion, a spectacle equal to all that stargazers have ever seen combined. Noon. From the roof of a house, a park, or just a balcony, you can see Betelgeuse from anywhere. You don't even have to wait for the sun to set, because the explosion will be so powerful that it can be seen during the day. The brightness of the star increases to a magnitude of 9. And here it is. The explosion. You can take your soulmate by the hand, play the Pixies song Where's My Mind, and imagine yourselves as Edward and Marla in that final scene from Fight Club. Betelgeuse becomes the third brightest object in the Earth's sky after the sun. Night. The star continues to shine even brighter than the moon. This glow can last for several months. Perhaps by the third day, you won't look at it with the same enthusiasm as on the first day. 
Or maybe you won't be able to pull yourself away from the window until Beetlejuice is extinguished. You will tell your children about Beetlejuice, how it was the brightest event in your life, in every sense of the word. In the meantime, you have almost a year to prepare carefully and plan the most unforgettable date when you'll say, let's look at the stars. This is all for you, baby. You want me to show you Beetlejuice? <laughs> and you can point your finger anywhere in all of that blazing sky. And you will definitely not be wrong.